and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about magnetic fields and magnetic field strength. Now, magnetism is a very weird and wonderful field that actually is looking at moving charges, okay? So it does have a slight relationship to electric fields and we will talk about that when we do electromagnetic induction, but today I'm just going to be talking about the base idea of a field. So a magnetic field is a region of space where a moving charge would feel a force. And <coughs> magnetic field lines are quite interesting because of how they go. So magnetics have poles, but they have north to south. And I've got a magnet here, and I'm going to be drawing the field lines around this magnet here. Okay. And the direction of these field lines, so every field line has a direction. So if they are attractive, they would go towards. If they are repulsive, the arrow would go away. It's important to understand that in a magnetic field, the, ma the, the actual direction of the field goes from north to south. This means that if I put a magnetic object in it, okay, it will move towards the relevant field. So if I put the north side of the object here, it would, this, is, this will move towards the south. If I put a south side in here, it would move towards the north, okay? And also, this, this diagram that I've drawn also shows the magnetic field strength and where it is strongest. And as you can see, it is strongest around the poles. And this, of course, is seen naturally. If we look at the magnetic field or the magnetosphere of the Earth, it's strongest around the poles, and that is where we get the northern lights. And I'll talk about that again a little bit later. So just to remind you, a field is a region of space where an object with the correct property will feel a force. And in this case, the property is a moving charge. Now, magnetic field strength, okay, is the relationship between the force that the object feels divided by the property that is affected by the field. And in magnetic fields, the magnetic field strength is represented by the letter B. Okay, and this is called the magnetic field strength. And it is measured in a unit called Tesla, or big T, so it's in Teslas. And like I said before, Field strength is the relationship or the ratio of force and the object that is affected by the field. So, in a magnetic field, that is going to be force over... Now, the thing that is affected by the field is a moving charge. And another way we can represent that, a moving charge, is current moving along a length of wire. So this is the letter for the current, I, times by L. So this here is the definition of the magnetic field strength, or a Tesla. One Tesla is one Newton per one amp meter. So one Tesla, so I'll just put that as one so it doesn't look like an high, okay, is one Newton per one amp metre. I'm going to rearrange it to a more noticeable formula, that the force is B times I times L, F equals Bill. So let's have a little go at this. Let's actually put some numbers into this. So I want to know the force when B equals 0.1 millitesla, the current equals 1.2 amps, and the length of my wire is going to be uh, 2 centimetres. So let's do this in red. F equals 0.1 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 1.2 
times by 2 times 10 to the minus 2, because the length has to be in metres, I get 0 0.1 to the minus 3 times by 1.2 times by 2 to the minus 2. Two point four times ten to the minus six newtons. So this is just a basic warm up of what magnetic fields are. The property that is felt by a magnetic field is a moving charge. Okay, and the magnetic field strength is represented by this letter B. B is measured in Teslas, and that is the force per unit I L there. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about um, using this equation, but also talking about where, what is the direction of this force compared to the direction that the current's moving and the direction that the magnetic field is going. So that is an introduction to magnetic fields.